my current skincare for the evening time. So I have my sunscreen on and I'm going to use the uh, Garnier water to remove that. I shake it. Okay, so my sunscreen is all removed. And after that is done, I use my tried and true that I've been using since I was a preteen. Still using it. It's the gentle skin version of the Cetaphil cleanser. So I like to put about three pumps and and I just really massage it and my neck as well. Don't neglect the neck because the skin on the face, it extends down the neck and chest, right? I think so. So let's not pay favors to our facial skin and uh, in a neglect of our chest and neck. Let me rinse. So I have a damp cloth here and I like to keep my skin moist while I do my skincare so the products can have a nice uh, base of moisture to go in. So one thing I've been doing differently is that my mother gave me, she had bought a two pack from Costco of the Olay Pro X. Uh, forgive me, the name has rubbed off because I'm using it. I'll put the name down below, but this is a peptide serum with vitamin B and she gave it to me so I've been using it because I have it. <laughs> so I've been using this as a first step. I take one pump and one thing I dislike about this however I must say is the fragrance. I don't enjoy that. I also don't enjoy how when I pump this out, I notice an iridescence to it, which means they've added probably mica, I'm assuming. Those two things I don't care for. The texture is nice though. It's nice and smooth and uh, I will use it to its completion again because I have it. In the summer, I tend to go easy on my Retin-A. I alternate, I have been alternating with this, which I'm almost out of. I've used almost the entire tube. This is a Dapoline gel different. So I use a pea size amount of that. I, I've i used this in the past for um, a KP on my arms and I enjoyed it. And I've also used it on my face years and years and years ago. Um, and it works very well. And just to keep my skin acclimated to vitamin A, uh, I alternate, like I said, with this. I'll use this and then I will still use this about once a week. In the summer, I'm receiving more visible light, uh, although I do cover my face. That's why my face is so much paler than my arms, which I don't wear sleeves in the summertime. I protect with sunscreen, but I leave them exposed for vitamin D absorption purposes. So I'm going to use uh, my favorite moisturizer lately. I use this as well. I use this every day, in fact, especially in the morning, but I use this morning and night, but I've been lately just using this. I put this all over my neck and chest. Last step, which is my castor oil. about three drops and I just dab this all over. You'll notice that I don't use an eye cream. I always moisturize um, but I don't see the need for eye cream so I just use the same moisturizer I use on the rest of my face and I even do my eyelids and so with this step, it not only nourishes my lashes, but it keeps 
this crow's feet area. It keeps that nice and supple. Lastly, I use the uh, CeraVe healing ointment as always. Either this or I use Vaseline. They're both uh, petroleum-based products. And that's it. I'm ready to go and let's see, I'm going to read and then I'm going to get my beauty sleep. So good night.